Hey everyone, Nathan from Elegant Themes here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the various blog post formats that come with the extra theme. So there are seven post formats total, including the standard post format, which is the default. What I'm going to do here in this video is show you the front and the back end of each post format style, as well as the steps necessary to create each one. Let's dive in. First up, we've got the standard blog post format. So this is nothing new to anybody who's familiar with WordPress blogging. You've got the title at the top, feature image, and body text that's um, pretty familiar. It's really meant to have everything from images, video, text, um, you name it in there. And that's just the standard blog post that um, is possible with, as far as I know, every WordPress theme. On the back end, in the editor, everything's pretty familiar. Title goes here, body text goes here. And in the sidebar under the, the format meta box, you'll see that the standard blog post is selected. So in all of these other blog post formats, in the back end, you're gonna have to select the individual post format that you want. And we'll get into that in just a second here. Uh, let's jump to the video format. So on the front end, uh, the feature image is actually replaced by the video and then below that you have your normal text um, layout just like you would in your standard blog post. So let's go ahead and jump to the back end and see what we can see um, about the video format. Once again on the side here, the most important thing is that you have the video post format selected and what you're going to notice is below the content setting here or the content box you have some unique extra meta boxes. One of them, um, when you have the radial dial for video selected, is called video format options. And it gives you the option to add a video file or add a video URL. And when you save that, that's what's going to create your, um, your video post. Just as a side note, and this is something that's covered in um, the review, ratings and reviews video, but Every single post is going to have the review box contents available in case you want to add a review to it. So that's going to be an extra meta box that's always available uh, no matter what you have here. And I can jump back to the standard blog post editor just to show you that that's going to be present there even though it's not a special extra um, post type or post format. So here it is there as well. Okay, now let's jump to the uh, third type of extra blog post format and that is audio. So what we have here is, again, replacing the feature image, the special post format for audio, uh, places the audio file for the post right here and gives me the ability to add a feature image as the background. So this is really cool. Um, again, below that, you can put a normal post uh, with normal post content and abilities below that. At the top, you're gonna have that audio format or audio file rather uh, displayed prominently in a really cool way. So on the back end, let's check out what this involves. Again, on the sidebar here, we've got the audio format selected. And then below the post content, we have another uh, meta box called audio format options. And we have the option to place a, uh, a link here or uh, add an audio file manually. We can also change the background color uh, for when there's not a feature image attached. And we can put the audio file title and a subtitle. And on the front end, you'll notice that it puts the title larger and the subtitle below that a little bit smaller. So it's a really nice little feature for um, the layout, especially when you have these long titles like some of uh, our podcasts get into. And then, of course, uh, you can use your feature image down here on the right-hand corner, and that'll add an image behind your audio, um, your audio file display on the front end. All right, moving on to quotes. So this is what the front end... Uh, looks like on a quote. Obviously, just like all the others, if you wanted to put content right here below it, you could, and it would behave just like a standard blog post in that content area. But again, when you choose the quote format, the very top of the post is going to be replaced with uh, with the quote that you've chosen and a colored background. So on the back end, let's take a look at what that looks like. Title, just like you would for any other post, goes right here. On the format meta box, we've selected quote. And we see a new meta box over here, quote format options, and we can put the quote text and the quote attribution. All right, going to the next one, we have gallery. So this is what a gallery post looks like on the front end. It actually replaces the feature image within the post um, with a gallery. With, so when you scroll over, you see these arrows appear here, and you have the option to 
kind of mouse through a gallery of images right there in the post. Below that, as with the others, you can put some pretty standard content right here. Let's take a look at what this is like on the back end. Okay, so once again, got to go down to the format section in that meta box and select gallery. And then you see this uh, gallery area open up here below the post content with the meta box called gallery format options. You can add images, you can delete images by clicking on this little red dot in the right hand corner, or you can move them around just by dragging and dropping them into place. You can also set an auto speed play or an auto play speed rather in seconds. Okay, jumping to the next blog post format, we have the link format. Uh, so this is what a link looks like on the front end. Uh, you can drop a link in on the back end, which I'll show you here in a second. And on the front end, it displays here again in the featured uh, image section or area of the post. And then below that, you can add any content, um, any additional content you'd want. And it would function just like the standard blog post uh, content area would. On the back end, um, I've got my content area empty. Um, but you can see the format that I've selected is link. And over here, the link format options, I've put in a title and the actual link URL. And we're good to go. And finally here, we've got the maps option, the maps format for a blog post. So I've got my title here and the feature image is replaced this time with a live Google map that I can uh, manipulate or use just like any other Google map. Below that, you can enter in your content. Let's take a look at that on the back end. So in this uh, example, I actually did put some content here in the standard uh, blog content area. Title up here as usual. I've selected the map format in my format meta box and then that uh, appears, that causes some options to appear over here to the left called map format options where really all I have to do is enter in the address that I'd like to be featured. I can frame it up however I want back here and then when I publish or update that will be reflected on the front end. Okay, well that is all for this tutorial. This has been an overview of the extra blog post formats. If you have any questions about what we've gone over in this video, feel free to leave us a comment and we'll make sure that you get a response. If you're interested in learning a bit more about extra or seeing what else it's capable of, you can click the view demo button. If you're interested in seeing more extra tutorials, click the subscribe button and never miss a great tip. Thanks for watching.